Welcome to Road That Stone, where we speak truth and think for ourselves. This is a new channel, so please like and subscribe, okay, so we can get those subscribers up and get this video and this channel out into the algorithm and the universe. Remember, the more the channel gets out into the universe, the more eyes are on uh, Truth Media, okay, as well as conversing with individuals and creators like myself that thinks for themselves. When it comes to presidents, okay, and vice presidents, they all have to be on the same page, okay? And when I talk about the same page, I'm talking about having uh, someone like Trump come in, okay, for another four years and build it up, okay, and close borders, okay, get rid of inflation, uh, if not lowering the inflation, all right? Uh, giving more money to us as U.S. citizens instead of giving all of our money away to illegals and sending it overseas, billions of dollars, okay? and protecting our future vote. And when I say protecting our future vote, that means uh, having a mass deportation to get rid of illegals, to keep illegals from coming in and taking your vote, okay? Because we all know that the more individuals that vote for Republicans, all right, and other ethnic groups, uh, specifically uh, other ethnic groups like Black ethnic groups who are going more Republican, they're going to bring those illegals over to replace you, okay? And mind you, those are illegal uh, immigrants to replace your vote and replace you. All right. Um, and the thing is, if we're having a thriving economy, all right, let's say if Trump uh, selects someone like Vivek Ramaswamy, who I believe is on the same page with Trump, you will want that individual coming in or that VP coming in uh, as the next president and uh, overtaking where uh, uh, a president like Trump has left off. So that's very very uh, important, okay? And the thing is this, you have to think about Trump. Trump has already proven uh, that he can have a thriving economy, all right, in the last presidency that he was in, all right? So when you look at something like that, uh, at least for me, this makes my decision, okay, when voting, it makes it a no-brainer, all right? Because when you look at Biden, look at the economy on the Biden. The, the economy right now is just, it's terrible on the Biden, all right, we're also having wars. We're having a uh, the, the open borders. We have an inflation. All of our money is being sent away. All right, voting for Biden right now makes no sense. That makes no sense. Voting third degree party, uh, uh, in my opinion, okay, it makes no sense to me. All right, number one, they haven't proven themselves yet. All right, they're not proven. We don't know if they're going to be able to get us out of this mess that we're in. All right, in my in my opinion, they are a risk. All right. And it's like playing Russian roulette. OK, voting for a hope makes no sense right now. Not in this economy that we're in right now. That To me, that would be a, vote, a wasted vote. If I did that, that would be a waste of my vote. All right. And I know you have some individuals that say, uh, well, you know, we don't know how they would do. All right. Because they hadn't gotten to the White House yet. Do you really trust a third or Green Party? OK to turn this economy around. I do not. All right. So uh, my vote would go to Trump because number one, he's proven. And I believe if he did it once, he can do it again. Okay. He has the ingredients. He knows the formula to get this thing turned around again because he's already done it before. Why ignore, okay, uh, the proven guy. All right. And you also have to think about it with the way that the economy is going. We literally have nothing to lose. All right, because you got to think about this. If the Democrats get in for another four years, okay, we're going to have more wars. Wars are going to continue as we have now, all right, which means more loved ones that are living and breathing today will have to go overseas to fight and possibly lose their life, all right? Borders will remain open. Migrants will slowly replace U.S. citizens, all right? There will be no end to inflation, I, like I said, speaking on the, mig the, the illegals again, millions of migrants will come in, okay, and they will vote them. It will be hard to get Democrats out of the uh, uh, the White House over the coming years, especially if, if the Dems now have another four years to solidify, okay, uh, their agenda. All right, many uh, millions of migrants. Do you know how many migrants are going to come over the border, okay, uh, in a, over the next four years? That's going to be insane. You will be replaced. Your vote will not matter. Your vote will be replaced. All right. 
And the thing is, when when the, the migrants come over, they're going to vote them because they're going to feel like they have something to owe, owe them. All right, for bringing them over on easy mode as it is. Oh, the Democrats brought me over uh, to this country. I'm voting them every single year. So imagine having multi-millions of mindsets like that. That's going to be insanity. All right. So millions of migrant uh, voters will make it harder, okay, to vote out uh, Dems in the future. All right. And that's the reason why hundreds of thousands right now are coming over. And I believe in another four years, it could be multi-millions of uh, illegals. All right. So imagine how many migrants will be here in another four years if Biden wins. All right. Do you really want four more years of border invasion? All right. Do you really want four more years? OK, of, uh, you know, the the wars. Do you really want four more years uh, of uh, inflation? All right. The U.S. citizen will be done. I'm telling you, that's why the decision right now is very important and specifically blacks, because we know that a lot of blacks are going over to Republican uh, to vote and the politicians know that. And blacks are going to be one of the first ethnic groups to get easily replaced. All right. Because we know that, uh, you know, that vote, those votes really swing a lot of things. So if they can't swing it no more. They're going to just replace them with other uh, immigrants. All right. So imagine the damage. OK, that will be done in another four years. OK, just imagine that. All right. Dems will set themselves up to be voted in every four years. All right. Now, imagine the damage control. OK, that Trump can do if Trump wins. All right. I believe Trump can reverse uh, the Democratic agenda. All right. I believe Trump would do mass deportation. Mass deportation is important because it will stop that inflow of, of individuals coming in. All right. And it will protect your vote. All right. Then we would not have to really be worried about uh, uh, four years of these individuals coming in and replacing us. All right. And the third world agenda, uh, um, the third world agenda will um movement will come to a crashing halt in my opinion a lot can be done positively all right not only that i believe trump will build uh, a, a stronger voting system with a lot of restrictions all right that's going to protect your vote all right so uh stronger voting uh restrictions along with mass deportation will protect your vote all right which means no more legal voting we will have more fair voting all right. So your vote uh, will matter up uh, and it will set up, you know, future Republican presidents all right, to, to continue uh, the positive economic agenda. It will set up individuals like a Vivek all right, or anybody else uh, that comes along this on the same page. It will set them up to uh, start off where Trump left off of. All right. And that's why I believe that um, you know, a potential vice president like uh, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy well, would be great, okay, in my opinion, uh, to take over for Trump, all right? If the thing is this, if Trump gets this country out of trouble, all right, who do you think the people are going to vote for, all right? If you have no more inflations, if you have closed borders, if you have no more wars, all right, and if you have multi-billions coming to you, the U.S. citizen, rather than it going to uh, illegals are going overseas to fund other wars. Okay. Uh, are you, do you trust the Democrats to um, take over and continue uh, a thriving economy? Do if, if we, if Trump gets us out of this mess that we're in, do you trust Democrats with the comfort, with your comfort? Do you trust them with your comfort? If you're content, thriving economy, you're comfortable do you trust the Democrats to keep you comfortable? Me, myself, I do not. All right. So when I say, who do you think the people are going to vote for? It won't be the majority voting for the Dems because you got to think about it. All right. The last memory that a lot of people are going to have of the Democrats when they vote. OK, is Joe Biden in this terrible economy. They want to have the last memory they're going to have is Biden in the border uh, crisis, Biden in high inflation. Biden and the war is going on. All right. Biden and giving our money uh, uh, billions of do U.S. citizen dollars. OK. 
uh, to uh, migrants and send them send them uh, money overseas. That's the last memory that a lot of individuals are going to have uh, with Biden in the Democrats. All right. So it's going to make them think more. All right. And people, when it makes them think more like that, people are going to really take their chances with someone like Vivek. OK, in the next four years. All right. In the hopes that uh, the thriving economy that I believe Trump can get us in uh, will continue with the next VP slash uh, president. And I do think it can continue like that. All right. Because number one, we've already been through this craziness. So if you get comfortable in the next four years, you're not going to trust your comfort in the hands or can your continued comfort in the hands of the Democrats. You're not going to do that. All right. If Biden gets in, OK, I believe we have no chance. If Trump gets in, I believe Trump can reverse a lot of the Democratic agenda and, and bring it to a halt. OK, so the thing is this, even if you hate someone like Trump, OK, and there's a lot of people out there to say, oh, I can't uh, uh, stand Trump. But at the same time, I can't stand Biden. Number one, you can't stand Biden because of the economy that we're in right now. All right. You love Biden at first. That's why you voted for him. Now you're saying you can't stand them. Why? Because we're in a crappy ass economy right now. All right. But in my opinion, it makes no sense to ignore the guy that's already had a proven thriving economy. So even if you hate uh, Trump, but you can't stand Biden right now either. And you're one of those individuals who say, well, I'm not voting, period. All right. Not voting does not help the situation. That does not help your situation. It does not help the economy. All right. Voting third or green party, in my opinion, like I said, is a waste of time. Do I trust the third or green party to close borders? No, I do not. Do I trust the third the, 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 the third party or green party to mass deport to protect my vote? No, I do not. Okay, do I uh, trust third or green party to stop giving our money away to uh, foreign countries and to illegals? No, I do not. Do I trust third or green party to lower inflation? No, I do not. Do I trust them to end wars? No, I do not. Do I trust them to protect our vote? As I mentioned, no, I do not. I just do not trust them. So I want to make this uh, video, give my little two cents, uh, speak some truth, speak for myself. All right. And remember, uh, hit that subscribe button, y'all, so I can get more videos like this because I'm going to start dropping them. And I'm also posting them on uh, the Rumble platform uh, also. So hit that subscribe. Uh, come join the community. Uh, come get more uh, Truth Talk, where we think for ourselves, and converse with me, okay? Get in those chats, okay? Let's converse, all right? So this is my video. Thanks for watching me today. And I will see y'all next time on the Up and Up. Howdy.